Hey everybody, I have here a modified, slightly modified MC-10 um, where I've basically inserted some standoffs and some longer screws so I had enough room to install um, a Coco VGA and, uh, and close it, um, well somewhat close it back up. Um, so uh, what I've done here is um, um, I have a demonstration um, that uh, attempts to get some of the features, uh, some of the enhanced features of uh, Coco VGA available to us in the MC-10. So uh, here I'm booting up with uh, um, the MCX-128. Um, so I'm just using this to take advantage of um, the MC server that's running on my PC. So I'm loading over the serial cable. So um, basically, this is a machine language program, uh, assembly language program that um, synchronizes the uh, 6803 processor in the MC10 with uh, VSync. And so we'll see here in a second how it does that. So when it comes up, it says, hey, I want you to hide the, uh, the orange section, the, the CSS selected region off the screen because if it's an off the screen then we have an idea uh, as to where the blanking region is so requiring user interaction here so you can see it says we'll use W and Z up and down arrow uh, keys and press enter when done so let's get that orange stuff off the screen here and hit enter and there we go the uh, synchronization allows us to um, send the uh, special combo lock uh, over to Coco VGA and tell it that the next video frame it's going to read our register settings and uh, now we can start using some of the enhanced modes uh, of the uh, of Coco VGA on an MC-10. Now notice here that uh, on an MC-10 the uh, the memory map is such that uh, and there's no SAM so the memory map is such that the um, the interrupt vectors uh, on a stock MC-10 anyway are in the middle of video uh, video memory. So what I've done here is I've basically disabled all interrupts. I've written over the top of the interrupt service routine uh, vector table the uh, and, and basically used it for graphics. So that's an unfortunate side effect of this. Now I think that the uh, MCXs uh, from Darren Atkinson can help us uh, get around that, but uh, I haven't explored that aspect of it yet. So this is a, a 2 k, k byte video screen, the 64 column, uh, 64 columns by 32 uh, rows of text, for example, with uh, with lowercase. Um, so uh, anyway, and uh, you know this, all of this stuff sort of builds on top of some of the methodologies that uh, that uh, Darren Atkinson uh, in uh, his port of Lee Patterson's bouncy ball to the MC-10 and John Linville in Xmas Rush have have pioneered, um, and uh, you know with some help from uh, Simon Jonason and some some guidance, um, I, I was able to get this working. So just wanted to show it off, and uh, I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching.